How to boost your mood There are a number of simple things that anyone can do to lift their mood. As your mood begins to lift, and sooner or later it certainly will, you can make more and bigger changes to your routine. And if you can hold on to those habits once your mood has lifted, you may feel well better than you ever have before. Number 1. Spend more time with sympathetic friends and relatives. Talking to others about our emotions, as long as they are receptive, helps us to process them, put them in context, and get advice and encouragement. Don't think about telling people you need their time or feel bad about taking it. You can call a helpline instead if you are uncomfortable talking to family and friends or are unable to do so. Even if you don't want to talk about your emotions, it can help to boost your mood by spending time with others, for example, playing sports or cooking a meal. Number 2. Use music. It is understood that music has the power to shift one's mood, which makes it an outstanding reliever of stress. Music has, in fact, been used therapeutically for pain relief and mental well-being in hospitals. Research has also connected music, especially certain types of music, with happiness. Researchers at Osaka University in Japan studied salivary cortisol levels and other psychological responses and found that music is associated with reduced stress as well as feelings of happiness, particularly music with a major role than minor tone. So why not throw on your favorite upbeat music for a short burst of happiness? Number 3. Bring nature into your home your spirit is not the only thing that will need a makeover for happiness. The secret to greater health and happiness may be to spruce up your home and integrate more natural elements, such as plants, wood, organic soy candles, or wallpaper filled with scenes of nature. While you've got the design bug, be mindful of certain colors that are said to naturally make you happier. Also, keep your windows clean so that you can reach your home with natural light Use daylight bulbs, which mimic the color temperature of the sun, in areas where you spend extended periods of time and natural light is not available. And don't forget the sound. Noise machines also help get the outside in. Looping birds, water, and wind. Number 4. Change your perspective. Often, your life satisfaction is related to your reference frame and similarities you make. If you strive to keeping up with the Kardashians and the Kardashians are millionaires, it's far harder to be content and happy with your place in life than if you donate your time to support those in need and are continually reminded of how much you have in contrast. Changing your standards and comparisons is one fast and easy way to turn your mood around. Look at everything that you do have instead of worrying at what you don't have. In one field of life or another, there will always be individuals that have more than you, but many have less. Revel in the advantages of gratitude and change the way you see what you have and you don't have, and you will immediately experience more satisfaction. Number 5. Be good to others. Many people agree that it makes them feel better and happier to assist others by acts of kindness or voluntary work. New research goes further and shows that it can have a similarly beneficial impact on our moods to actually wish others well. Some studies have even pointed to specific brain areas that acts of generosity affect, suggesting that giving to others can help reduce anxiety and stress. Send congratulatory cards, praise a stranger's shoes, or give a colleague a stellar recommendation on LinkedIn when something positive happens to a loved one. It takes only minutes or even seconds to complete these acts, which can lead everyone to feel a little happier. Number 6. Go for a walk. The mood benefits of regular, modest exercise, including walking, are different. The effect is that the brain seems to function better on a variety of levels. For one thing, regular exercise increases blood and energy flow to the brain, improving mental acuity. The brain's nerve cells are more robust. They branch out and make connections more easily, particularly those in the parts of the brain that grow when you take an antidepressant. Even a single exercise session can produce improvements. A study by University of Texas, researchers had people with major depressive disorders either rest quietly or walk on a treadmill for 30 minutes and tested their mood afterwards. 
both groups saw improvements in mood, but those who walked on the treadmill had more positive feelings of well-being and vigor. Number 7. Try Meditation Meditation is a powerful practice. In fact, it can literally change the composition of your brain. While virtually anyone can experience the positive effects of meditation, studies show that people dealing with depression are especially likely to reap the benefits of daily meditation practice. Meditation trains the brain to achieve sustained focus and to return to that focus when negative thinking, emotions, and physical sensations intrude, which happens a lot when you feel stressed and anxious. Although this shift in focus isn't likely to take place immediately, a regular meditation practice can positively affect a person's reactions to stress and anxiety, which may lead to a less depressed state. Number 8. Get as much sleep as you can. For different aspects of brain function, sleep is important. This involves cognition, concentration, efficiency, productivity, and most importantly, mood changes. Both of these are influenced adversely by sleep deprivation. A research report on medical interns offers a clear example. Interns made 36% more severe medical errors on a conventional schedule with prolonged work hours of more than 24 hours than interns on a schedule that required more sleep. Another research showed that certain aspects of brain function can be adversely affected by short sleep to a similar degree as alcohol intoxication. Good sleep, on the other hand, has been shown to enhance problem-solving abilities and increase the memory capacity of both children and adults. Mental health conditions are closely related to poor sleep quality and sleeping disorders, such as depression. It has been estimated that 90% of people with depression worry about the quality of their sleep. Bad sleep is also related to an increased risk of suicidal death. Those with sleep problems such as insomnia or obstructive sleep ania also show subsequently higher depression rates than those with sleep apnea. Number 9. Exercise Regular exercise can affect depression, anxiety, and ADHD in a profoundly positive way. It also relieves stress, improves memory, allows you to sleep better, and improves your mood overall. And to enjoy the rewards, you don't have to be a fitness freak. Research shows that small exercise quantities can make a real difference. You should learn to use exercise as a powerful tool to cope with mental health issues, boost your motivation and attitude, and get more out of life. No matter your age or fitness level, for many factors, exercise is a strong depression fighter. Most importantly, it stimulates all sorts of brain improvements, including neural development, decreased inflammation, and new patterns of activity that foster feelings of relaxation and well-being. It also releases endorphins, potent chemicals that energize your spirits and make you feel good in your brain. Finally, exercise can also serve as a diversion, helping you to find some quiet time to break out of the depression-feeding loop of negative thinking.